Well, here we are again with another Acolyte fix. And this time is a very, a very curious one. Uh, in this fix, we have uh, originally kind of the uh, <laughs> the Fada one, as people as people call them, the Fada one, uh, making his first appearance right here with uh with the with this little girl that um the acolyte hired to like distract a robot and because i've already deleted that part because i felt like it like a trained assassin had to literally offer some candy to a kid in order for the kid to distract the robot so she could like sneak in come on you know we tr we're trying to make this girl intimidating not whatever so um, Body positivity, Pato one over here is just, you know, it doesn't fit the role of a Jedi, even if he's still a Pato one. Like, I highly doubt because, you know, you have to be raised into the Jedi since you're a kid. I, I highly doubt that the Jedi would allow him to eat that much. Uh, it's like, dude, we, we talked about fulfilling your mind, not your belly. God damn it. This kid looks creepy a little bit, doesn't he? Um, doesn't she, I mean. But anyways, so the point is that in the original, you had this conversation that kind of lasted quite a bit. I'm going to play a little bit, and yes, there's going to be pauses. And for everyone that says, Ivan, why don't you let the, play, the scene play? Well, the video would be blocked. <laughs> That's why I don't play them uh, all the way through. Um, trust me. I've tr I figure it out. Uh, I've been trying to figure it out, but it just doesn't happen that way. But anyways, this is kind of how the original goes. And then we cut to fake as hairline over here. And she goes in and then we continue with the conversation. So as you can see, they're they're taking their time a little bit, you know. Then we 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 have in the background we have the fatter one coming with a coming with a little girl as the conversation is still progressing. And then he comes in and talks about the little girl and everything, how she she was found, yada yada. That is one of the worst actings I've ever seen, if I've seen one, just FYI. And then we continue with this. And then we have Siri from, from The Witcher talking to, to the little girl. Did you activate the security droid? Hmm? <laughs> like scolding her, like, I, I know you took the cookies, so just say that you, take, you took the cookies. Why did you activate? So it's pretty obvious at this point, like kind of the, the thread and everything. And we like this show keeps hammering the point like, oh, no one knows that there's a twin sister. And that's the thing. That's one of the things that I've already kind of fixed. The Jedi tend to be like way smarter than this. But in this show, they're so dumb where they just decide to erase the possibility that the sister is still alive. So my edit, that possibility is not erased. So they just go with the fact that, hey, there might be a possibility that th that the sister is alive. So let's let's go and let's go and go for it. You know, uh, instead of just spending so much time with the with the, with literally the same thing going over like oh yeah it was her like the audience know it wasn't her so the surprise is for the characters so can we just eliminate that because the surprise factor is gone so what i did is that i just shortened that conversation i literally just shortened it welcome to Alega. We didn't think Coruscant would be interested in our little break-in. This crime may be connected to another open investigation. 
So he says, hey, this crime may be, may be connected to the, to the investigation. Immediately, she drops in. I would like to speak with Master Torbin. And we see him react, right? And then he goes. Master Torbin hasn't spoken to anyone in over 10 years. He will speak to me. Like, that's it. Like, hey, he, I want to speak with him. Oh, he hasn't spoken in years. He'll speak to me, bitch. In this edit, Sol is definitely taking more of an active role. He's not being, like, more... He's not being as passive. He doesn't wait for things to happen. He makes them happen. And here he's, you know, following with that trend of character to to have him be a Master Jedi Qui-Gon style. He's like, oh, no, he's going to speak to me. And then we have the, the poison scene. But next time we see them, they're already going. You see? So the entire dialogue where they're like, oh, who was it? It was her. We did this, blah, blah, blah. All of that was shortened to literally 24 seconds of just them getting like, oh, we got noticed that um, we didn't know that th this little crime would be of, of essence. Oh, we want to speak. Oh, he won't speak. He'll speak to me, bitch. Let's go. And that's it. You know, going in, going in. Now, you're probably thinking, how did you erase the fat Padawan? Well, easy. I just zoomed in. <laughs> I just zoomed in into this guy. If if I were to um, if I were to just pull him to the side, you would see him. <laughs> but I obviously didn't think he was necessary to be there. We do see him later on, but we don't establish him as a Jedi, so he can pass on as a, like, helper, engineer, or anything, you know? But we don't establish him as part of this Jedi temple, per se. So, I know this is kind of like a minuscule fix, in a way, but if you think about it, it's, it's, it's not about the forest, it's about the trees. The trees make up the forest. And this is one tree that needs to happen in order to make the forest cleaner, if you know what I mean. So that's, that's, that's all I have for today. I hope you like it. And I'll see you later. Bye.